the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. The Gospel of the Seed uh, in today from Luke's Gospel is for us, I think, self-evident. Jesus, again, explains what he means of the Word, the words of life, the words of Jesus are like seed which needs to be in fertile ground, away from thorns, away from shallow soil, and it needs to be cultivated by the faith and the devotion of the one who, who bears that seed within them. Otherwise, it will be choked out, the birds will take it away, the heat of the sun will scorch it. We know the parable. I would like us to also consider how this might apply to our understanding of the Holy Eucharist. That as we say, the Holy Eucharist is the objective presence of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is really present whether we believe it or not. But when we receive that great gift in the Holy Eucharist, it requires our own participation for that objective presence to have, to have fruit in our lives. It requires our faith to be able to see the fruits of what we have been given. And so in a similar way, when we come to receive the Holy Eucharist, when we come to church, we need to make sure that, that our own disposition, our own lives to hear both the Word of God but also the sacrament are, are duly prepared, that we are giving our Lord a deep place to to rest in his sacramental presence, that our minds aren't wandering with the cares and concerns of the world, that we aren't immediately drawn away by the thorns and the, and the, and the sway of others to carry us to, to think on other things or to deny the reality that is here. This principle that Jesus gives us applies in so many ways in our understanding of Holy Scripture and our understanding of the efficacy of the sacraments and also in our desire to live a transformed life, to always pay attention to the, to the soil that is our soul. Is it deep? Is it free from thorns? Is it free from, from the rocks that will prevent a real and abiding faith in the Lord to blossom? May we ask the Lord today to deepen the soil, to make it rich and free from all the things which choke out and burn away growth in him. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen.